So you just need these three pieces, the top, the inner jar, or the inner cup, and the outer cup. Just these three pieces. Then you take two tablespoons of your broccoli seeds and put them one, two. If you're using smaller seeds and you'd want to use the insert, but these are large enough that they won't fall out the bottom. You might get one or two that fall out, but they should stay in there. And the next step is just go ahead and put them in your cup. Now these cups are made so that um, if you see how it has these little slots here, if you put the slots this way, then it fits nicely in the cup. If you put it and switch it a little bit like this, and it stands up. We don't really need that yet. I mean, it's okay if you do. But when you do that, then it provides some air below the seeds, and that's what you'll use when you're sprouting. But the first step is we're just going to soak them. So put them in there. Add some water. Got enough water in here. Push it around a little bit, just so we know that the water is getting all the seeds. I mean, there's not that many seeds in there, so it's not too bad. And that's for good measure. We'll just put that on top so stuff doesn't get in there. And soak for six to eight hours. So you've soaked for six to eight hours. And basically, you just then, there's your seeds. There's what are you going to discard with? Toss that out. So, for the next three days or so, you're just going to rinse every 12 hours, twice a day. I mean, it doesn't have to be 12 hours exact, of course. And I'll show you how to do that. Fill up with some water. Squish it around. Water. So there's a couple seeds in there. It's not really that big. Turn out the cup. Turn out the water. And here's where um, the best thing to do that you want to make sure is after you rinse your seeds, then um, this part's easy when there's, you know, not, they're not sprouted yet. You go like this, just kind of use a little centrifugal motion. And basically you're just trying to get the water to run out the bottom here. It'll, you'll see it flying. When you don't see water coming out the bottom much anymore, I mean, it'll still be damp. You don't want them to be totally dry. Um, then you'll just put it in here, and here's where you'll line it up so that the cup, it's hard to do with one hand here, the cup stands up. So the reason why these cups are kind of neat is that it allows air circulation. So you rinse the seeds every 12 hours and that wets them down so that they grow and then it also you put it in this cup so it has air down below so if any extra like too much moisture you don't want because it can help facilitate mold and stuff so you've got a little bit of air here so it um, you get a little convection action so that way they grow pretty easily so that's how you get started, and then I'll show you what the sprouts look like over the course of the next three days as I rinse them. Um, but yeah, you just rinse, dry it out, or, um, you know, try to get them as dry as you can. So 
I will show you what the next cycle looks like after another 12 hours. So it's time to soak them again. And rinse them. Need to rinse them. These are my sprouts after a couple days, about two days or so. And I just finished rinsing them and then doing the circular motion until all of the, most of the water was out. And when the sprouts get big like this, um, sometimes you just, you know, fluff them up a little bit. They can get a little compact. So I'll probably let this go for another day or two. Um, really it's up to you. It kind of depends on how long you want your, um, how large you want your sprouts. The smaller they are, the more milder tasting they are. And these, as you can see, these have some green in them, but they're relatively white looking. Um, so towards the end, I could actually set them up on the windowsill with the cap off, because I... I let them sit like this, um, let the cap off, and then they'll green up a little bit and that'll make them taste a little bit more green, but also add a little bit more chlorophyll. So it's really up to you. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, yeah, and really at no time should they really kind of stink after you <laughs> uh, rinse them. If they do, that just means they need a little bit more rinsing or rinsing more often because um, they really shouldn't smell like anything. That just means there might be some mold or something that you need to wash off. But in general, it should be pretty good. <laughs> 